Person. Uh, comrades and friends, I welcome this debate and I am happy to support this report. I think it comes at an important time for us all when we face unprecedented public anger at the excesses of the unregulated free market. I think what we're seeing is for the first time perhaps since independence a space opening up for a socialist and a social democratic alternative to be put. I think there is a real potential for a left of centre government to come into place. But I think to fulfil that potential, this party needs to develop a more inclusive membership base and a more diverse membership base. I believe passionately in the need to, for us to have more women members, more younger, younger members and more members from new communities. And I don't believe that the current structures that we have deliver the, those outcomes to uh, an adequate degree. I chaired the Commission on Women in this party some years ago and we recognise the inadequacies of the current structures. And that's why I supported the idea of reform. Now, I do share some of the reservations others have expressed about the process of this report, that this, whereby this report came about. But I do think that the report offers, on balance, a great deal to improve the governance and the structure of the party. It's not about a new vision it doesn't, for the party. It doesn't change the party's philosophical objectives or goals. What it does, I think, is it, make, it, it will make the party, if it's adopted, more inclusive and a more effective campaigning organisation to deliver Labour's objectives of social justice and equality for all. I'm glad to see a more inclusive idea of membership where members can join as constituency rather than just as branch members. I'm glad to see a more inclusive definition of Labour trade unionists. I'm glad to see that uh, we will have, an effect, uh, I think, a smaller and more effective executive of which six members will be directly elected by the uh, National Conference and two further, the chair and treasurer, also directly elected by the membership. So eight out of 13 will be directly elected. And I'm glad to see that there's a 50-50 gender balance on the six ordinary members to be elected. I think also that this, it's vital to, that the Central Council should, should be an effective body. I think it's very welcome to see that each constituency in the country will have the right to have a person on that council. I think that's important. I think on candidate selection, we have the real prospect of seeing more representative candidates selected through this reformed process. I think, comrades, in conclusion, we have been calling for some time for reform of the banking and financial system, for reform of public services, for reform of the government and a change of government, and we need to be seen to change ourselves too. Thank you, comrades.